Hey Manny CA here again. Today I think we're going to show you how to do the other alternative form of paper patching we were describing in our earlier video before we would uh, paper patch a bullet that was dropped raw from the mold and then uh, we would size it after it dried in our sizer here. Uh, a lot of guys say that uh, that way is not the way to do it because it puts a little more pressure on the bullet. And if you've got a long bullet like this Lyman 311 284, which is made for 30 out 6 rifles, mainly was designed for the Craig, the Craig rifles, line of rifles, because of the long bore riding front. Uh, the alternative to that is to size your bullet, no lube or anything, through your push through size dyer die which I'm going to use right here. This is the Lee push through die and this is a 308 because we're trying to build up to a 311 size so what we're going to do is we're going to push the bullet through here give it a good sizing and we've got a couple of them we're going to size. Now these are going from as cast to 308 and you can see the shiny bends on there the areas that were sized so what you do is you just go through and we're going to size our bullets down to 308 again and you can see the shiny surface on there it shows which part got sized down to 308 so these the mold I have is throwing them a little bit fat which is good if you want them fat because then you can cast for a lot more different bullets different rifles so let's see how they're coming out that way and then you've got them all lined up and what happens is this die tends to keep them in the die body one extra so you have to pop it out so we've got them all removed from there we're going to do our regular paper patch like we showed before and what you do same as we did in our previous video we've got our pre-cut patches and what we're going to do is just wet them down and we'll take the bullet that was already sized and you can see the natural curl, the paper wants to curl, the direction of the curl is how we're going to roll. And remember, this is just like anything, you're working with bullets, consistency is key. So, you want to make sure you do them all the same way, the same time. And roll them on. There you go. Take a little extra water on your fingertip and what you want to do is produce that little tail like we did previously so you kind of can see how they look. So I've got something that I've already done. Now what you want to do is you set these aside after you've done you know, your batch of 50, 100, 500. If you've got the time, set them aside, let them dry overnight. I like to set them aside in my block holder right here. And these have been done the other day. And you can see how they conform to the paper. They kind of shrink and you can see almost skin-like. You can see the lube grooves on this. So what I like to do with this is I run it through my lubricizer. Let me show you how to run through the lubricizer. And what the lubricizer does is sort of irons on the patch. You'll see that happening right now. There. The lubricizer is the dark. Is the dark. Press right here. And again, I use the wax. Use a little bit of sizing wax. And I put it on the patch. And I do this for two, two reasons. Number one, it makes it go through the sizer easier. And number two, it's easier on your bore. There you go. 
you can see how it kind of irons on really gets that glossy sheen flattens out the base gets a little bit flat that's what you want just like this is what will happen is there's no lube on the bullet remember that no lube on the bullet what happens is when the bullet exits the muzzle you want to make sure that this patch just falls right off and the bullet continues on to its destination again we'll do take one of our bullets remember these are dry rub a little bit these are dried overnight rub a little bit of wax on there and again we're running this through a 311 die I've got a 311 die in here so we're not really sizing anything down as much as we are kind of ironing the paper out there and you can see the paper gets like a wax like sheen on it which is nice because then it's easy to seat your bullets and that's how you do the alternative form of paper patching quick quick video quick review quick rundown hopefully you guys get a little bit of take something away from it something easy uh, next set of videos we're going to show you how to load up for the 30-06 how you flare the mouth select the load and we're going to load these babies up and then we're going to take them out to the range I'm going to be shooting them out of 30-06 1917 or 03 Springfield until next time, go shooting. Take a child shooting. And for God's sakes, join the NRA. Because they're the only ones that are fighting for our, our freedoms.